Hey beautiful Scorpio, welcome back to the Lucky Tarot. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I hope you all are doing well. This is your weekly reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Scorpio signs. I truly apologize for not being able to upload last week's reading, my dear. My voice wasn't really at the best condition and I had to take a couple of days just to rest it off. But thank you guys so much for being patient as I get this videos done. All right, so today we're going to start things off with the animal medicine card and we are going to be looking into your energy also the person or situation you guys can be dealing with but please keep in mind the rules here can be reversed okay do check your other signs as well for important messages in case this do not resonate at all i also want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for all your likes shares comments subscriptions and of course to those that have greeted me on my birthday thank you guys so so much for all the love and support so without further ado, my dear Scorpio, let's start this reading. Animal medicine card, please, for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this week. Okay, here we go. Wow. You guys are coming across as the panther. Okay, you may have fire in your chart, the upright triangle. This is the chemical symbol for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But the panther to me is a guardian, right? It's definitely connected to the higher realms, higher consciousness, to spirit as well. So your energy is coming across as very fierce, powerful. It's really going to draw people in or draw some attention. Um, maybe you're not aware of that or some of you are consciously aware of that. But since we do have a new moon in Aquarius in the 24th and 25th, it's like you're coming across as an energy that wakes someone up or people up, you know? It's also the energy of forward thinking. Maybe you are voicing out. The panther could, could actually be this energy of very strongly shaking something. Um, and it feels like whatever you're shaking up here, it has been dormant for a while. There was no response, no action, no growth. And you could be here as the catalyst for that situation to no longer be stunted. Okay. Again, you're waking something up. Um, this can actually be you spiritually awakened on your own okay your panther as your animal spirit there's some changes that's going on for you guys this week and i feel like it's um it's big change it's not just about changing how you look how you dress or how you communicate but this is mostly in the realms of the emotions and in the mind something in you has awakened and you're coming out here as fierce as strong as powerful and protective okay now we're going to look into who or what you might be dealing with for this week you are dealing with another fire sign here okay but you both are coming across as the same fire uh, family so this could be a family situation or somebody that you are family with or maybe for some of you a competitor somebody that you see as your equal here or somebody that is a worthy competitor okay um, but this is a healthy competition is what i'm getting here you both are definitely strong individuals in your own field um I don't know who's challenging who though okay maybe it has been a friendly competition for a while uh, but the lion here again aries leo sagittarius whoever this lion is they may not have been fully paying attention to you i'm only seeing the lion's body language it's looking sideways okay forward thinking as well maybe you guys here are about to wake somebody up like what have you been doing so far you know you're not paying attention you're not doing what is expected of you um, this might be a friend or family member we're in. You're going to really shake them up to the core and just remind them. Remind them of what is their responsibility, their role to play. Because I always see the lion as the leader of the pack. And you being the protector of the pack means, you know, ever so often you can go to the shadows, to the background here. But when it is definitely required for you to, you know, put yourself out there, it's like once in a while you show yourself and you voice out something. That the lion needs to hear once in a while because the lion here the shadow side that i'm getting here somebody is easily easily to fall into the energy of laziness procrastination it's a little bit of a complacent energy that i'm getting while you're over here it's like <laughs> you could be saying to this person it's time to put the effort in okay it's time to um, stop um, procrastinating or putting this on the side for some of you this is just aspects of yourself okay uh, you're reminding yourself that you are still the lion here. You are in charge. You're somebody that should be the leader of this whole situation or lead your own life. Take control and take charge of the situation. 
whatever case that may be we're going to look into what is the challenge for this okay we're going to get one more card then we're going to open this messages further using the tarot what could be the challenge in this situation please The Nightingale. Wow. So, the upright triangle with the line in the middle, this is the chemical symbol for air. Okay? Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And again, I said the new moon in Aquarius, right? It's about voicing out. Surprising people by speaking up for yourself or for somebody here. The Nightingale is on top of the world, screaming at the top of the lungs, but it's expressing something that is coming from the heart. So, it's still coming from a place of love, of truth, okay? Of being trustworthy, of being uh, very loyal as well um, and be being really honest okay what I'm seeing here is that you want to communicate something to do to your lion you want them to really pay attention and watch watch their words watch their behavior or their lack of behavior or action as well okay so yeah with the nightingale as well here you could be putting it uh, rather softly in the beginning but now it's requiring a stronger voice because they haven't been fully tuning into the message or this is somebody who's a little bit of an arrogant energy i don't know why i'm getting that it's like they're a little bit self-righteous um they feel like you know they don't need to listen to other people's opinions sometimes because they have already acquired a sense of authority in this it's like a very prideful energy that i'm getting not always but they could be coming across like that sometimes so that's why you're coming here because you are able to speak directly to your lion what is not easily be said by many to this person maybe people fear this person's authority but scorpio you guys are here almost challenging this person like i'm not afraid of you i'm seeing you as an equal i'm here to speak about whatever's going on that's not right you know your responsibility it's like you're telling this person why don't you take personal responsibility for your errors okay and some of you could even be seeing this line as quite apathetic or can't empathize with you or others so it could be any situation really it could differ from one person to another but that's where you're coming from here scorpio okay it's like they're they're not showing any empathy at all now we're gonna look into the tarot okay we're gonna do a celtic spread Let's see, what else can we get for Scorpio, this person, and this situation that Scorpio could be dealing with, please, for this week? What else can we get for Scorpio? Let's get the deck and see what comes up, okay? If this is a friend, I feel like some something, sorry, this usually happens, Scorpio. Something happened with your lion. You could be the protective energy for your lion. But being protective doesn't mean that you baby someone, you know, that you sugarcoat something for someone. Uh, sometimes being protective means saying the truth as it is to your person. Because I feel like whatever this li line has been through, yes, you care about this person, but they're not able to speak of an injustice that may have happened to them. Uh, this line for some reason is forwardly thinking but haven't fully addressed and haven't been able to speak of any injustice here uh, they could be sort of like holding on to this feeling i don't know if that's bitterness that's grudge or whatever that is they're not expressing it so that they can they haven't fully let it go i mean why else would they behave rather coldly over here or just maybe let the situation go without uh fighting for their justice is what i'm seeing but you here with the with the nightingale, um, you're all for it. Like, you know, you want this person to take action for that. Take this how it ever resonates, my dear. It could be case number one for some of you or case number two. So let's see. One last shuffle. Because I different I got a different narrative just there. Okay, but something about the new moon that's gonna really surprise people about speaking up, okay? So yeah, look at that. Hard to matter. The Sun of Swords. I mean, this is um, the energy, okay, of somebody in full conviction expressing their point of view. This can also mean uh, driven by feelings of aggression. Aggression doesn't have to be to, to mean starting some trouble, but it's the sense of urgency, right? Somebody feeling so passionate about it that they're willing to fight for what they believe in. It's taking a stand. For some of you, this can also mean how you're, you are approaching your lion this week. Like, you just really want to communicate. You want them to, um, it's not it's not that really you want to corner them, but 
you know, there's no way going around the there's no going around the bush in this situation. There's only one way of doing this, and I feel like you guys are feeling like, okay, if I'm the only one that can confront this person, so be it. Okay, maybe this person is gonna listen if I try to approach this person this way, because it didn't work when you were trying to just maybe sweet talk this person before. Okay, now. The challenge here is the sun card and yeah, Leo energy represented by the lion. So so the lion over here with the sun card, I feel like this being a challenge, they haven't been fully happy for a while or they haven't been fully themselves for a while. Also, there is lack of clarity in this situation because your lion refuses to speak up. The lion, you know, when you hear the lion roar, it's like a, almost like it's the voice of authority, right? But they haven't been voicing that out for a while because something in your person has been definitely blocked. Okay. And so as the protector, it's your responsibility to push your person to voice that out. The sun card. The sun can also mean healing. Your line could be in a process of healing right now. Certain issues that they're overthinking in their mind. So uh, we're going to clarify this. Um, the reader cost is the chariot card, concern and energy. Some of you are just wanting to see this person move forward or this whole situation together because it feels a little bit stuck and stale. Like I said, you want to shake this person up like, OK, too much time has been, um, you know, given to you. Like I've been waiting. I've been waiting. You just see to see you just do nothing about yourself, about the situation. This is a time where we must take action is what I'm getting here from you. Um, why is the son of swords here, please? We have the father of wands. So again, that fire energy but yeah it's gonna really receive but be received by your lion although could be still a little bit silent but trust me what you did here what you're about to do okay is really gonna get your lion's attention it seems like the lightning has has striked okay and has somehow steered this person's um attention it it got them really thinking is what i'm seeing or it will get them really thinking here why is the sun card here, please? We have the temperance. So I was talking about healing a while ago. But something is done a little bit extreme here. It's like your person used to be a little bit more open, but all of a sudden, completely cold, completely detached, completely unable to communicate, okay? The temperance can, card can also mean like, yeah. I don't know, with the sun of swords, there might have been a conflict that they failed to, um, to really resolve here. It's a little bit hanging up in the air it's still ongoing as it feels like but they're holding on to it still yeah the magician they are not addressing the current situation also magician means communication right so communication as cliche as it may sound but it re it really resolves misunderstanding okay it really is able to get you both to understand each other's point of view and just let it all go let all that feeling go and unless this happens, there's no sense of closure in this situation or nothing is truly being resolved. So I feel like this can also mean taking the matters in your own hands. Like some of you are thinking, should I take the initiative? Should I be the one to say something? Maybe then the lion can reciprocate. OK, why is the chariot card here, please? The tower, that is the shaking up process that I'm saying. You guys are moving forward in a very fast way. It almost feels like you've been planning this out for some of you or just universe is conspiring with you guys. Um, also, you're using your willpower here, okay? Because you feel as though with the tower, your person could be a little bit stuck. Something that is based on ego and pride. It's not letting your person fully see the picture, okay? But once that lightning strikes, the idea comes in or you saying what, what this person needs to say, they're going to start thinking about this differently. Okay, something in your person's core is really going to be awakened. Let's see what happened in the recent past. Please note that this could be a vice versa reading. Recent past, Nine of Swords. There was a lot of fear. There was a lot of guilt as well. The, the guilt is what, what, what was eating this person up. Okay, and, and was not able to speak of that. I feel like it's also the energy of your lying, not wanting to show weakness, not wanting to maybe see others that they have a soft spot, soft spot. So to you guys, it could be feeling like, well, this person does not know how to empathize. Maybe they does not want to uh, emotionally connect with others or to me. 
But I feel like this is somebody who's afraid. They don't know how to process their feelings or they don't know how to ask for help when they're dealing with something something really heavy. They don't do so well when it comes to that kind of emotion, okay? When they're happy, yes, they would speak of it. But when they do feel disappointment and hurt, they tend to hold it in on their own. Let's see. Why is the Nine of Swords here, please? Yeah, Two of Wands. So... I also feel like the two of ones means, you know, somebody was afraid of making a decision. So they were a little bit wishy-washy with this. And you could be here trying to wake it up. Like, have you made your mind up yet? Because there's lacking clarity at this time. So two of ones can also mean like somebody was going back and forth in their mind. Is it a yes? Is it a no? What is the best that can count come out of this situation, please? We have the Six of Cups. Yeah, restoring what was, okay, or being kind to one another is what I'm seeing here. Six of Cups can also mean missing one another. It could be a soulmate connection, a very kindred partnership, okay? It means like the issues could also be deeply rooted, something about your person's childhood or a passed down condition. It's like this is a coping mechanism for your person. They don't do so well with being straightforward. They tend to just be silent about things. But it's very deep, okay? It's very deep that I'm seeing. Son of Wands. So it, it's very a strong, a very strong connection that you have with this person, okay? You've already had history with this person before. Uh, this could also mean a special friendship connection. Doesn't have to be just a romantic one. But you want to see this person bring back that kind of passion. How it was in the beginning, how they were in the beginning, okay? How they used to connect with people and with you. Or the kind of connection you both have shared. The memories that you both have shared. So let's see what is coming in the immediate future. We have the seven of swords. Still lacking communication. Okay, because I feel like Scorpio, you already did your part. But don't beat yourself too much about this. Uh, as long as you know that you were able to act on um, based on good intention towards shaking your person up. You have already planted the seed. Now let universe take charge, take control. I also feel like this person knows and is still keeping one eye on you. Although, like I said, just one eye, okay? Trying to pretend that it doesn't, you know, exist or doesn't happen. But soon enough, your line will take action is what I'm seeing. Maybe right now this person is not ready to take personal responsibility to speak, okay, or communicate, whatever case that may be. The father of swords, yeah. Soon they will be gathering the, the information that they need or the courage that they need to uh, make a decision and be clear about this or clear towards you or also make things right by you if you feel you were being lied to in the past. But I don't feel like this is so much about lying, but rather about not, not confronting the situation, not being straightforward. Yeah, four of pentacles. Right now, there's this energy of wanting to control their feelings, okay? Or just not wanting to take a chance for now okay let's see how does this person feel about you scorpio the world card there's something here that your person is coming to full circle with uh with the whole situation whatever has caused them stress in the past okay they were making a decision about this i feel like your person is about to complete the lesson tie any loose ends okay but for every ending, there's a beginning. It can also mean a process of maturity, connecting to their higher self, okay? It means that they're searching for answers and trying to find healing from what they've been through. It was an intense pain that led this person to search for answers. But the only thing is that they could have left you feeling hanging, like they cut the communication abruptly. Let's see, how does this person view you guys? The Daughter of Wands. Yeah, they see you guys that you, they know that you have, they have left you in the dark about this, but they also see you still in a, in, in a very light, kind hearted way, uh, very kindred. Okay. There might be some age difference here. You might be the younger person here, Scorpio, but with the 10 of wands, it's like they can't seem to approach you right now because their path is currently obstructed. This can also mean that there's a sense of burden with your lion and they don't want to pass that burden on you. They don't want to, to put the burden on you because they're not ready here. 
it can also mean that if they do start a beginning with you guys it could just be a burden on them right now knowing that they haven't fully healed on their own okay some hopes and fears the devil so your line could be detaching right now because is afraid of any karmic ties here or being truly attached to anything it's like they're going on it solo for some reason the devil can also mean as a fear somebody is afraid of there's there could be some obsession going on um or pessimistic mindset thinking about this whole situation so whatever case that may be your person is currently trying to heal from that and you as well not obsessing about this too much yeah eight of cups somebody's hoping to move forward from a capricorn all right or somebody's afraid that the capricorn has already moved forward here but the eight of cups suggests that somebody felt emotionally shattered here because there was a strong connection here but it was something unhealthy that's what drove this person to move forward or the whole situation itself lacks some balance, okay? We have the temperance card here. Remember, something was done a little bit extreme. So what is the final outcome for this, please? We have the Father of Pentacles. Could also be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Son of Cups. So there's somebody here that's going to make a more stable romantic offer to reach out once again, Okay. Uh, but I also feel like you both are still connected spiritually. What you're feeling is what this person is thinking, uh, but will require some time to become more expressive. There's not a lot of sword in your reading, so communication may be something that's currently blocked. The Nightingale, okay? So sooner or later with the Eight of Wands, your person is going to reach out. It could be an out-of-the-blue kind of news from this person, and there will be an offer of new beginning, but a choice has to be made. That choice could be working together and trying to rebuild okay this means rebirth or second chances so i feel like your person is just taking a step back right now um so with the judgment card here though you're really in a dark place um but with the three of pentacles they're co-working with spirit to clear all of this heavy energy right for you guys um you need to focus on self-love here with the lovers and also focus on what brings you stability right now okay soon this person is going to communicate but things will also be moving forward all right so this is your reading and i'm also going to get an overall advice before i forget what is your overall advice for the sign of scorpio please going through this process what is your advice for scorpio please going through this process all right this one over here it says trust the great mystery wow so the whale is the animal spirit of wisdom okay ancient wisdom the ability to really dig deep into your emotions and how really in depth you can be about your understanding the whole thing and so is this person as well it's about trusting the unknown spirit has a plan for this divine has a plan okay you will be surprised how things will work out or fall in place naturally on its own all right, so this is your reading for this week, my dear. Let me know if this resonates. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. Take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't. I'm sending love and light and namaste.